know in the universe many objects are there that all the objects some are there at the rest position and some are there at the moving position so nothing but we will call it as the motion so any state you can see the state of object when we will see so they are in the two parts some are there at the rest and some are there at the motion or moving we will see isn't it when we talk about the rest rest position means what when we will talk suppose i will take a one body which position is here at the time of the zero second the position of a body is here but the time will be running how the time will be running the position will be same means it is not changing its position such a state of a body is called as what rest we will call rest is nothing but when the body doesn't change its position with respect to the time time will be running but the position will be same such a state of a body is called as what rest position and when we will talk about the motion see at the zero second the body position is here the time will be running how the time will be running if a body changing its position suppose i will take t is equal to t second at t second the body changes its position to here means this state of a body is called as what motion so motion is nothing but if a body changing its position with respect to the time how time will be changing it is changing its position also such a state of a body is called as what motion rest means the position will not change with respect to the time and the motion means it will change its position with respect to the time so such a state we are calling it as rest position and the moving position or the motion we will say that in motion nothing but if you talk about the motion that is nothing but the mechanics mechanics is the branch of physics where we will deal the moving particles or the motion of a particle so that branch we are calling it as what mechanics again in the motion we are having two parts one is one dimensional motion and second one is two dimensional motion one dimensional and the two dimensional one dimensional means if any body is moving along only one axis so we know three axis are there one is the x axis y axis and the z axis so if any body is moving out of this any one axis such a motion is called as what one dimensional motion so one dimensional means the body should move only along one axis it may be a x axis it may be a y axis or it may be a z axis so such a motion is nothing but what one dimensional motion when we talk about the two dimensional the body is moving but it is moving in two dimensional means about the two axis it is moving so we can take x axis and the y axis so if any body is moving like this so if you see the graph we will come to know the body changing its position but the position changing with respect to the x axis also and with respect to the y axis also so such a change in a position about the two axis is called as what two dimensional so we can give the example for the two dimensional also we know rotational or a circular motion so whenever the body is having the circular motion it is changing along the two axis one is x y or y z or the x z axis so according to the two dimensional it is changing the two axis so such a state is called as what two dimensional motion and when we talk about the one dimensional here two parts are there one is the uniform motion and second one is the non uniform motion two are there one is the uniform motion and second one is the non uniform motion so uniform motion is nothing but suppose one body is there at a time is equal to 0 second it starts to move it is moving because it is the type of the motion so it will starts to move then what will happen exactly at one hour 
it will meet this to be another position. So at the one hour, it is reaching to the this position. So when it reaches to this position, it will cover some distance. That distance is nothing but I will take it as 10 kilometer. So a body covered 10 kilometer distance in how much time? In the one hour time. So in one hour time, it is covered a 10 kilometer distance. Then again it will be moving only. So in the next case, the body again it will move and it reaches to the sun position at the time is equal to 2 hours. So it will start from 1 hour and next it will cover to the how much? 2 hours it will reach to this position. So again it will cover some distance. So that distance is also what? 10 km only. Next, to cover in the second case, the 10 km distance, how much time it had taken? 1 hour time it had taken. So when you will see this example, the body is covering equal distance. Here also 10 km it is covered. Here also it is covered the 10 km distance. So the body covered equal distance in equal time. So 1 hour time only it taken to cover 10, 10 km distance. So if this is the case, such type of motion is called as what? Uniform motion. So uniform means it is regular. So we are calling uniform motion is nothing but if a body covered equal distance in equal time. Equal time it should cover the equal distance. If this is the case that type of motion is called as what? Uniform motion. And when we will go to the non-uniform. So non-uniform means it should not be a regular. Means same thing. The body will start at the 0 second. So at the 0 second it will start this motion. So when it will start it reaches to certain position. So again I will take T is equal to 1 hour timing. So in 1 hour timing, it is covered 10 km distance only. Next, again it will be moving, it will increase its speed. So when it will increase its speed, it will cover 20 km distance again in the 1 hour timing. See, in the starting case, it is covered 10 km distance at how much time? One hour timing. Next, it is increasing its speed. So, when it increases its speed, the covering distance also what increases. So, in the next place, it is covered 20 km distance again in the same time, one hour only. So, if you see this case, we will come to the ideal day. Now, to move and to reflect back, it will take the time. So, that time I will denote it as the T, isn't it? So, we know speed is nothing but what? Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Generally, we know speed is equal to what? Distance divided by time. So, in the first case, it will, it will go, it will strike and it will reflect back. So, how much distance it is covered? D. To cover this much distance, how much time it has taken? T. So, D divided by T is equal to for a line, how much you will get? C value, which is nothing but 3 into 10 plus to 8 meter per second. This is what the thing. Now, so what I will do? This object will start to move. It is now under the motion. So, when it is moving, see, this is the first position. Next it will change, again it will be moving, again it will be moving, isn't it? So, here also we will give the water torch light. So, when we will give the torch light, the light will go and it will strike like this. The light will go and again it will strike. The light will move, it will strike. Like this it is happening, isn't it? So, now in the second case, when the body starts to move, the light will go in a wave form, isn't it? It is moving in a what? Wave form, like this. It is moving in the wave form. Now, in the second case, the body, I'm sorry, the light strikes the wall and it is reflecting back to this position. Hmm. Compared to the first case, here the light is covering more distance, isn't it? The light is covering more distance. So that distance I will take it as D. Now, to cover this much distance D, how much time the light had taken is equal to T. Capital T I will take, isn't it? So more distance it is covered. Because of that, more time it had taken, isn't it? So now again when we will talk about the ratio, 
distance of divided by time more distance more time it is isn't it so again when you will have the ratio no you will get the same quantity that is nothing but what c c is equal to 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second see first case and the second case first case the body is under the rest the body is not moving because of that the light covered less distance so it had taken what less time less distance divided by less time so what we will get c value we got now in the second case more distance it had covered so it had taken the more time to cover that much distance so more distance divided by more time so when we will take the ratio less distance less time more distance more time so when we will get the ratio now we will get the what same thing the ratio will be what same only we will get only for the what light so that value that ratio becomes what c is equal to 3 into 10 to 8 meter per meter per second at any case if you take if a body is under rest or if a body is moving so that is what the special theory of relativity Einstein gave the special theory of relativity so according to Einstein <coughs> the light velocity will be what say the speed of the light will be constant at all the situation which is equal to 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second any situation if you take the light velocity will be constant now uh, this one I have shown by the practical but by the theoretical by the derivation in the next class I will prove why it will be same for all the cases so this is what about the relativity relativity will give the relation between rest and the motion particle and in the relativity two are there one is the general theory of relativity and second one is the what special theory of relativity so when we talk about the general theory of relativity in a day to day life many times we will experience such a situation sometimes you will be sitting in the bus in the train or in in the car so when we will be sitting if any another object with your neighboring so if any object is moving with a higher velocity that time you feel that the body is under motion isn't it so but when we both are moving with the same velocity we experience that both are at the rest position suppose any body is moving back to you you are sitting and the body is moving back to you that time we feel that what we are under the motion isn't it so such a situation we will analyze such a situation we will get so for all those questions why we are getting the different different velocity at the same uh, reference for all those cases for all those questions we will get the answer by studying the what general theory of relativity this is just to uh, understand i give some example in the next video classes i will give the example and how to get that answer general theory of relativity and how velocity will be changing i will give that the special theory of relativity as i told you it completely depends upon the what light hmm? why the velocity of a light the speed of a light will be same for all the cases so that answer will be given by the what special theory of relativity uh, as already i told you two mechanics parts are there one is the classical mechanics and second one is the what theory of relativity both are relating to the mechanics part only uh, the difference is what suppose i will take a body hmm? when a body is moving with the lower speed with the lower velocity then you can apply the classical mechanics classical mechanics can apply to those bodies which are moving with the lower speed isn't it suppose if a body is moving with a higher velocity with a more velocity or with a velocity which is equal to the velocity of a light 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second for those bodies you cannot apply the classical mechanics so that time you should apply the what theory of relativity so theory of relativity can be applied to the bodies which are moving with the what higher velocity or the velocity which is equal
equal to the speed of the light which is equal to 3 into 10 to the 8 meter per second. So this is all about what the relativity and the classical mechanics differences. So in the next class let's talk about the general theory of relativity, special theory of relativity and frame of reference uh, we are explaining because as with respect to some frame we are defining whether the particle is at the rest of position or it is under the motion so we want certain reference there to analyze whether it is rest or whether it is motion so let's in the second class we will talk about the how Newton's law will be applied to the theory of relativity and what about the frame of reference okay thank you